We all know Brazilian football players love three things. Showboating, boozing, and shagging anything that moves. However, there's no one that can rival the mesmerizing winger who secured two World Cup victories for Brazil, Mane Garincha. Garincha's relationship with alcohol was like a never-ending match. Off the pitch, he could give the biggest alcoholics a run for their money, and even by John Terry standards, was a top shagger. While his antics off the field often left his teammates scratching their heads, they couldn't help but admire the way he could still perform magic on the pitch. Garincha's drunken escapades were like the unexpected plot twist in a comedy, adding a unique and eccentric chapter to his larger-than-life story. Born in Pau Grande, near Rio de Janeiro, Garincha faced a unique challenge as his legs were misshapen and bent, with one leg measuring two inches shorter than the other. But hey, who knows? Maybe God gave him the inches where it matters, as he went on to father 14 children with numerous different women. And to make matters worse, he unimpressively boasted an IQ in the low 70s, further cementing the fact that he often did most of his thinking with the wrong head. But despite these physical handicaps, he tore through the pitch, charging at defenders like a zombie on Black Ops 2. His legs didn't just make him unique, they added an element of unpredictability to his play, making him one of the most captivating football players of his time, earning him the name, the angel with bent legs. But did you know, Garincha had an unexpected companion? This is the infamous story of Garincha and the GOAT. As a boy, all he did was play football, just like all the other children in the streets of Brazil. But little did he know, destiny had a different plan in store for him. While dribbling through the streets of Pau Grande during the local carnival, Garincha stumbled upon an Adivino. And no, I'm not talking about another football player, but rather a fortune teller, sitting alone in her tent. Intrigued, Garincha decided to seek out his fortune. Sensing Garincha's latent potential, she offered her services at no cost. As she sat Garincha down, she said, A true legend lies within you, Garincha. But remember, true greatness can only be achieved with the help of those who have equal spirit and heart. Look for your loyal companion, and then you will have the world at your feet. With the fortune teller's words echoing in his mind, Garincha set out on a quest in search for someone who would complete his journey in an extraordinary way. From dogs to parrots and even a monkey, Garincha encountered numerous potential sidekicks, but none were the perfect match for his footballing magic. Just when hope felt lost, fate intervened. During a training session, Garincha stumbled upon a lost and lonely baby goat. Seeing the little creature shiver, he scooped it up and offered solace. And in that moment, a bond was formed that would change both their lives forever. The world was captivated, not just by Garincha's incredible talent, but also by the extraordinary bond he shared with his four-legged teammate. Garincha became a legend alongside Pele as they went on to never lose a game in which they played together, dazzling fans around the world with their incredible skills and all the while with his trusty goat by his side, showing the world that heroes can come in unexpected shapes and sizes. Well, that's what would have happened if this was a storyline to a Pixar movie, but in reality the story isn't quite so family friendly. Garincha was not only renowned for his exceptional football skills, but also for his recklessness off the pitch. His playing style was often characterized as unpredictable and left defenders baffled, yet his life off the field was just as wild. He had a reputation for indulging in excessive drinking. By his own admission in his autobiography, he was an alcoholic by age 14 and lost his virginity at age 12. But unfortunately for him, it wasn't a stunning Brazilian beauty, but rather to a goat. Yeah, I wish I was joking too, but how much of this encounter had to do with alcohol is up to your imagination. However, it's nevertheless funny to imagine a promiscuous goat taking advantage of a plastered garincha. But knowing Mane, it was probably the unsuspecting goat receiving the Brazilian shot from inside the box. <laughs> you might ask how we even know this. Well, this information was actually self-admitted by the man himself in his autobiography, Garincha, The Triumph and Tragedy of Brazil's Forgotten Footballing Hero. Garincha's personal life was like a sitcom. 
He had more wives than a cat has lives, and he fathered enough kids to fill a clown car. But sadly, Garincha's story didn't have a happy ending, as his extravagant lifestyle led to financial fiascos due to his never-ending battle with alcoholism. But let's not let the fact that he was clapping goat cheeks make us forget about the incredible talent Garincha was. Despite the craziness of his life, Garincha's influence on the sport is undeniable, and his style continues to inspire the modern game. And there you have it, the bizarre story of Brazil's football legend, Mane Garincha, a man who turned his tribulations into triumphs and whose off-field shenanigans were a comedy of their own. If you had a good laugh and want more hilarious football stories, smash that like button and subscribe for more. And if you've got any other funny football tales in mind, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.